Okay, hear me out. We all love popular video games, but do you know what's better than popular video games? Lambs. With swords, beating up demons. But, 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 listen, don't you worry. Here to fill this gaping hole in your life that you've been wanting to fill since your childhood is this game called Cult of the Lamb, and I'm going to 100% this game. Starting off in this game, we're at a gathering where we meet the four stages of puberty. Now, being told I was going to a movie, I showed up. After rethinking my life choices in the afterlife, and after a painful start, we meet a man that looks as if he existed off the edge of the universe. And for some reason, he sees interest in us, even getting us our first achievement, making us ever so closer to 100% in the game. The best gift ever was being given another chance. Now, back to reality, and although I'm not talking about Eminem, I come back to life to, sit, to slay these goth Slim Shady impersonators, but, you know, they obviously weren't the real Slim Shady. After taking care of business, we meet our new friend, Ratu, who tells us about the old faith and other cult stuff. However, afterwards, it's back to hunting down the four stages of puberty. We're on the way, we find a helpless soul being sacrificed by hooded men. So, I rescue him. Oh, don't, don't hit him, After saving the poor soul, we head back to my base camp. That's how we go find a follower, right? Ah, uh, yes! And after arriving and talking to Ratu, turns out this used to be his land. So, I take it to create a cult on it, and we even get our first follower. And after talking to that follower, we gain an achievement, and I name him Alfred. After being told Cult 101 from Ratu, I went to go gather as many materials as I possibly could to go make the kitchen. You know, I, I would expect like something demon stone, but no, it'd be pleasant. I mean, stone. I wonder if you could like your pickaxe, that's not how this game works. However, this introduced a hunger bar for my cult, but I don't mind it too much and cook my first meal for Alfred. Once Ratu appears, I talk to him and realize my next goal is to make a shrine. But to do that, I need to venture into the forest. So, given a pretty based weapon, I enter to rip and tear until it is done. Alright, we're gonna do first, first map, no hit. Chief? Hey, you take that back. Oh, God. In the forest, I find the moon necklace that I can attach to one of my followers, and I also find this funky tarot card trader that gives me cards to provide buffs. Then I slayed more demons, and more demons, and encountered Mr. Meatball Pubic Hair Man. But this wasn't the last time I met this man. But before I knew it, I was fighting my oh, first crap. boss. It's the meatball. <laughs> By the blood of the great ones, destroy the red crown. Oh my god! Oh, it's a meatball baby! I'm Juicius. It's the meatball baby. After killing the boss, we had earned our next member of our cult and our next achievement. Meatball baby. Our cult. Now back at the base, I invite Frederick to the cult Frederick. and Hubert to the cult. Aww. Then I cook up some tasty berry oatmeal and I unlock one of the most important buildings in this game. The temple. We got a temple! Look at 
that baby. But to build a temple, you know what I need? A resource gathering montage. And for some ungodly reason, I decide to mine the biggest rock on the entire map. And no joke, this took like five minutes. Yeah. Anyway, then I build the temple. Look at that. And speak to Ratu on how to temple. And shocker, I temple and I give the most insightful sermon ever, even unlocking more health for my forest ventures and a new achievement. After doing that, I throw myself right back in the dungeon with this new axe I found, but shortly after entering, Meatball bothers me again. Oh, come on, Mr. Meatball. <laughs> Unworthy bearer, you take that back! So, I kill all of his little minions fighting for him. Directly in the next room, I end up learning a new skill after talking to Ratu. Being possessed. After testing out my new abilities, I end up finding another tarot card to add to my collection. And immediately after, find a tarot trader to which I choose crit chance. Right after, I also find a shop vendor and I buy a new cow follower for him. And after violating the meatball statue, I kill some more critters. Oh, they hit hard. While exploring, I find a tablet, but I don't get much further, so I end up going home. When I get home, I end up building up a nice farm for the people oh, of my cult. Water my plants. Then back to the forest we go, where I find tarot cards, kick butt, and meet a new character oh, for the quest this? for me. Hello, sir. A challenge. After raiding this dungeon, we were on mission Save the Deer. Okay, buddy, what are you doing? And soon enough, she was saved. I'm too good at this game. So Deer! We're running a deer clubs. So I violated another statue. I went in so confident, confident as ever, to kill everything evil. Like right then. As I was crusading, I also got my quest reward. Oh, it's him. Decent 
I was also able to buy a new curse. And I fought another meatball baby. Right. Oh, who is this? Valifar. After juking the crap out of that boss, and on top of that piercing his skull, I happened to save the cute soul that was inside of him. Sorry, yay, what do I want? I want a blueprint. And hear me out, I know saving someone's soul is fantastic, but holy crap, look how sick this statue is I just got. Honestly, as just starting out this game, it was a fantastic start. And if you guys liked watching me play Court of the Lamb, let me know in the comments, like, and subscribe if you made it this far, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.